Hello, welcome to another vlog. So I just filmed this makeup look. I think this vlog will actually maybe be up before this video. I'm not quite sure, but I'm just importing the footage now. And then I filmed the intro to one TikTok and then I need to film like the actual, you know, body of the TikTok a different day. But that's how I like to do it. If I'm already ready and filming for a video, I'll usually try and do the intros to TikTok so I don't have to get ready multiple times and I can just kind of batch film on one day. That's the way to do it. I've found over the years, if you're new to making content or you do YouTube or TikTok or whatever, actually, let me see if I can show you my calendar right now. But basically most days I'll either have a filming day or an editing day. Some days if I'm just filming one YouTube video, then I'll edit the video or a different video that same day. But I have found it's best to try and like pre-film as much stuff in one day and then spend the next day doing all computer work or other work where I don't need to full on get ready. My poor, poor plant dying a slow death. I don't know what he needs from me. Does he need a bigger plot? What's happening? I put him on this table because I had him on my shelf in the kitchen and I thought maybe it wasn't getting enough light or something. Let me know what you think I should do with this guy. So I need to get something notarized and I just Googled like notary near me and an ad for this came up and it actually has super good reviews. Apparently you can legally notarize documents online, which is a genius idea. It has really good reviews on the app store and on Google. So I think I'm gonna try it. Here's my big note to myself because I'll probably just be able to hopefully upload it like as a PDF in the app. I think you actually like video call with someone so they can see it's really you and like show your ID and stuff. This is so smart. I just made this fancy lunch. Who do I think I am? Also a fruit smoothie. This has spinach, blueberries, chia seeds, cashew milk, and a little protein powder. Tomatoes, basil, fresh mozzarella. If you're in Seattle, this vendor at the market has the best mozzarella ever. Pretty proud of myself. Okay, I'm so excited. I just went down to check my mail and both of the packages I was waiting on came. Let me get closer to you here. So suitcase I've had for a while now, it just needs to be replaced. This kind of breaking the wheels, like don't go right. You have to push it in a weird way. So I did a bunch of research on different suitcase brands and also just like options. I want to get it really dialed in because I do travel a lot and I love traveling. And I've never been a carry-on kind of gal. I always check my bags, but I found a combo of bags that I think is gonna work really well. I'm gonna see how this goes. I'll definitely update you after my first trip using it. You're gonna see San Diego and Oregon later on in this vlog, but that already happened in my time, so I couldn't bring it on those trips. <laughs> this is how I shoot my vlogs. They're just random clips, okay. So on TikTok, actually, I found this brand called Base, B-I-S, and I saw so many like packing videos where it just seemed like well, let me show you the bag first. By the way, this stuff I bought with my own money, they don't know I'm talking about this at all. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is their mini weekender bag. It comes in gray and tan too, but I like the all black look when I'm traveling. I just like to blend in, you know? There's so many packing videos from people where they show you how to actually fit, like well, some girl fit like a 10 day grease trip in here. It might've been the bigger, I got the mini one. The mini, you can still fit like a solid amount of stuff in and put whatever the heck you want in there. There's like a mesh thing over top. Like you can't even tell on camera, but it's massive and it actually has like really nice structure to it. I do want to get their packing cubes. They've been sold out. I'm on like the waiting list. This is the technology spot where you can put your laptop and whatever else. There's like tons of pockets in here. And look at her, she's so pretty. Size reference, this is how big it is. I'm 4'11", so it probably will look less large on your frame if you're taller. And I'm stoked to see how much I can fit in here because it expands like crazy. Ooh. So the luggage I actually got on Nordstrom because they were all sold out on their website. They have a really nice tan handle right here. And this, I'm pretty sure has like a built-in luggage weight somehow. I don't know how they do that. So you have the TSA locks. This actually seems bigger than I thought. Ooh, cute. I have never been excited to pack before, but this is making me want to pack right now. There's so many different compartments. I love how they have this built-in section right here, but then you can also unzip it. And there's a huge area under here. Very excited about my base combo here. <gasps> That's smart. The slip right here unzips, so it can either be the slip or it can be a pocket. That's pretty genius. Slide it over, ready for the airport. This is my Iced afternoon matcha and ube mochi break. This is definitely my favorite kind. It is delicious. Here's what the box looks like. The editing vibes right now though. Look at this. We've got the city view, the fireplace, my light, cozy blanket. Not that I need it because it's hot. And the candle. I normally go for a pink kind of feel, but I like the red with the fireplace right now. So I just had two 
Zoom meetings this morning, edited and posted a reel, made lunch, and now I have to go to get an MRI in Bellevue. It's funny, now I don't even care about like getting the MRIs now. The MRIs with contrast are not the most fun. That's where they like insert a thing while you're laying there for 45 minutes and you have like the dye going through your body. That one's not fun. Luckily, I don't have to do that one today. It's just the normal lay down for 45 minutes MRI. But the only part I like dread about MRIs now is taking out all of my jewelry, <laughs> to take out all my earrings. And some of these suckers are freaking hard to get in and out, man. So I gotta undo all of these before I go. Half the time now, I just have holes like close up. Like after my last MRI, I'm pretty sure I never put this one back in and another one closed up. Should probably put on actual pants and change out of my leopard socks here. Here's my very exciting MRI fit. I got this zip up from ASOS and it's so comfy and I love how it sits, like it's a little bit cropped. And I also love the sleeves. There's like something different about the sleeves. Thank you, sure. I'm pretty sure this was from TJ Maxx at some point. And then these are the Amazon leggings I showed in another vlog. I removed all of the gold, all of the jewelry. I'm hoping that I'll be able to walk. I might get there a little bit early, hopefully, and just walk for like 20 minutes before and maybe after. Picked up my current go-to. Just got out. It really amazes me how it's 2021 and how do they not have like a quieter MRI machine? If you've ever done an MRI, you know what I'm talking about. Is it just too expensive? That's why they don't have it because the technology has got to be there. You know what I'm saying? I walked for like 15 minutes before, but I think I might just find a park around here and walk for a little bit longer. And then I also realized I'm totally out of hand soap. So I'm debating if I want to go to Bath Body Works, which there's one in Bellevue or just like pick up soap from Walgreens or something. Looks like I'm naked, but I am not. So it's Friday when I'm filming this part and we're actually going to Portland in like an hour and a half for my boyfriend's dad's 60th birthday party in an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm actually, no, we're leaving here in an hour and 20 minutes. So. I'm good, I'm good. Now I'm gonna use the Hot Tools version of the Revlon One Step. I've tried this a few times so far and I, I think I like it more than the Revlon One Step. I feel like it smooths a little bit better. Then I need to do my makeup, finish packing. I already put in all my hair products, use this and the Subaki Hair Milk. So my hair got too fully wet to this in eight minutes. I'm not done yet though, I just wanted to show you like the process. My hair is now dry. Now I'm gonna actually style it and smooth it. I'm not gonna have it on while I do this, but basically I'm gonna go both directions at the top to kind of really smooth down right here and then flip it and give it a lot of resistance when you do this and just kind of turn as you go. And then when you get to the bottom, you're gonna wanna turn a few times to really curl it under, obviously with, with the heat on, you know? So I started at 12.09, it's 12.24, so that took 15 minutes. And honestly, I was going pretty quick because I'm trying to get moving here. So there's some parts that I will probably retouch up. For getting like a blowout kind of look in 15 minutes, and I feel like this one does make things just less frizzy than the Rev one. So I've been really liking this one. I gotta go do my makeup. San Diego for my mom's birthday. <laughs> Happy 58th at Estancia uh, Resort in La Jolla. We got a little cabana, which turns out it's a see-through cabana. Getting lots of, lots of shade happening, but still nice. We got a fruit plate hanging out. Oh, that's cool. That's 
new. We're pulling into Target. A little Target trip. <laughs> it's 5.20 p.m. I've been working all day. What have you been doing? I've been working, working out. Too. Working. Mom, look at this stuff. <laughs> I was just trying to stealthily vlog and then my mom walked around the corner. I thought she was a rando. <laughs> So I discovered my new go-to way to get the matcha at Starbucks because it's pretty sweet. Like it has a ton of sugar if you just get a normal matcha there. So what I've been doing is getting an ice green tea, unsweetened, add a scoop of matcha powder. What was the other thing? Oh, and then add sweet cream cold foam on top. And that's what gives it like a little bit of a sweet taste when you get a sip. But the actual green tea part is just unsweetened. So way less sugar than just getting like a Starbucks matcha but I'm just sitting in a parking lot while my dad is getting some beans. <laughs> We're literally getting beans to go, refried beans to go from my favorite place because my mom's gonna make chili rianos tonight and then some beans and then I fly out, fly out tonight. It's actually way less time than I usually stay here, but it was mostly just to come for my mom's birthday. So fly back to Seattle tonight, Saturday night. That's that, cheers. So I'm back in Seattle. Flight last night was just one of those flights. I got a migraine right before, almost had to cancel my flight. So it's a good time, but I made it back. Today it's Sunday. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's later on today, but right now there's like a lake floating concert, free concert kind of thing. I think they're doing it every Sunday. I'm not quite sure on South Lake Union. So we're gonna go check it out, see how it is. It's supposed to be like 70s and 80s music, which you know, I'm down for. So we'll probably bring some snacks some banana grams. I'm just wearing a little sundress thing. So this is the center for Wooden Boat Center where you can get a free rowboat, like totally free. Check it out on Lake Union right now. There's like a big concert thing going on. So they wouldn't let us out, but we tried. I'm treating myself with Shake Shack delivery because it's been a rough last 48 hours pretty much, but I got the iced tea lemonade half half fries. I also got cheese sauce and then I got their new honey chicken sandwich on a lettuce wrap. I've only had Shake Shack one time before. Wasn't super impressed, but I'm giving it another go. So I just got ready. I'm headed to brunch with my friend who's actually visiting from New York. We're just gonna go to Portage Bay. Portage Bay is like one of the classic brunch spots. I've actually only been there, I think like twice. I have on my Etsy jewelry. I've been loving this heart, little like charm necklace. And then these twist tubes are also from Etsy. These are the ones I always wear in videos. I use the new ColourPop matte little quad guys that I've been loving. I love the size of them. And then my Air Force Ones, these are like my go-to shoe lately. They're just super comfy and they're cute. They're like, you know, a little bit nicer than just a normal sneaker and I can walk in them. All right, so it's a couple weeks later. This vlog was over pretty much the course of a month. So I know it looks like I was doing a lot. I did do a lot actually, which was really nice, but um, it was spread out over a month. There were lots of days that you didn't see, lots of just, you know, at home working and staying alive. Now I'm actually getting ready to pack and go to New York in a couple days, New York City. But I wanna put on this Caudalie Venergetic C Plus mask. I have been trying a lot of Caudalie stuff. I really like this so far. Obviously I haven't used a ton of it yet. I've probably used this for about a week and a half now, but it's their purifying toner with salicylic acid. Salicylic acid, my skin just usually responds really well to it. And I feel like it's already doing something, like some nice brightening and their Vino Perfect Serum. So maybe I should isolate them because I feel like both of them are doing good things, but I don't know, you know, which one's doing more right now. Kind of looks like I just put on self tanner. I really picked up the camera a whole lot the last couple weeks because I've just been pretty out of commission, but I'm just hoping that in the next couple days before New York, things start to improve. Wow, this feels like it's just drying very quickly. I'm gonna be seeing a couple friends there, kind of scoping out some neighborhoods maybe. We'll see, you know, eating some good food, hanging out. So I'm very excited. I might talk more about things coming up in either Shout and Schmooze or another blog or just like an update video. All right, face mask is on. 
Let's get to pack in. I'm actually excited because I get to use the new suitcases. So first I need to put away these clean clothes and then figure out the outfit situation. I think it's gonna be super hot in New York still. I should probably check that right now. And I actually got these packing cubes off of Amazon. I looked at the dimensions and they're I think the same, if not a little bit deeper than the base ones. So I'm gonna try these and see if I like them. They look kind of similar with the just like style of it where they have half covered. And these ones are like a third of the price, but they're just like a really pretty neutral tan color that kind of matches the handle there. I just cleaned the floors. Now I'm doing laundry, bed sheets and everything because whenever I go on a trip, I always like to, if I can, get everything kind of cleaned up beforehand. So when you come back, it's just really nice to, you guys know the feeling. It feels so good to like come home to a clean house and clean sheets and everything. Uh-oh. I'm officially an idiot. I was just about to say I've never vlogged at this angle before because you're on my bed, but then it fell over. So I tried sticking the bottom of my tripod in my big black candle. And now there's just straight up black wax on the bottom of the tripod. Cool. Great ideas I have. So here's my packing so far. And I actually really, I'm shocked by how much I've been able to fit in here. I'll show you quickly. So in here I put just like daytime outfits. This is a different bag I'm trying. I actually got this in PR, it's from Believe Beauty. But it's just a little bit smaller, like more narrow than the one that I usually use. So I just put a bunch of stuff in there. In here I have two pairs of sunglasses and then jewelry. This is also different than how I normally pack that. This one I actually didn't end up knowing what to put in. So I just put my hairbrush and stuff I, but i could have put that like in the carry-on so i might take that out i tried to put like tennis shoes in and it didn't fit so i'm not sure what you would use this for i didn't want to put something that would leak because then you would have to like clean it out of here if it leaked but this one i put in underwear bras and socks if it all goes in there and then underneath here it unzips you can see it just like got way bigger so it does compress it down which is nice i have a leather jacket in there and then these are three pairs of shoes and a pair of tennis shoes right there and then under here is another bag and in that one what did i put pajamas and like yoga pants and biker shorts <laughs> I could still fit something right here, so I might put either a hair tool or I might put that in my the other weekender, the mini weekender bag. And then there's a mesh zip thing right here that I didn't end up using yet, but maybe I'll put like dirty clothes or something in there. And then this thing unzips and I put nighttime outfits in here. So I just have a few like dresses and nicer things. And again, it kind of like compresses it down. You have these clips that also push it down. Taking out the hair stuff. It's bothering me the way it looks in there, but also I'm just gonna put this with my other hair stuff when I put it in the carry-on. So for this kind of trip, this is like way smaller of a bag than I normally bring, but I feel like between the packing cubes and then just like the actual suitcase and how it compresses it down, I actually fit a ton in this bag. And it also actually comes with a dirt bag and then this one watermelon socks happening right now but the weekender bag i haven't packed yet this is what i'm going to use as the carry-on also going to try and fit my bag like my purse that i'm bringing into this bag okay so i haven't put any of my like technology stuff in here because obviously i'm still using my vlog camera and my laptop but that's going to be going on the side pockets here and then i have this little thing with nothing in it yet this is the first time i mean like i said i usually check a bag completely so i never like carry on my makeup or anything but i actually moved this to here here's my makeup bag nice and chunky this is a dupe from amazon and then here's my makeup brushes right there i do want to get a different makeup bag i'm looking at one from calpac then in the bottom there's actually so much room in that zipper thing i ended up putting two purses down there and i still have room down there we'll see how carrying everything on goes in the past i don't like to carry on because i can't lift that thing up by myself into the overhead so unless there's a nice kind stranger next to me or i'm traveling with someone you know then it's possible but i usually just check a bag to avoid that whole scenario maybe i should like do something to my hair or something before <laughs> recording this but wow ending off this vlog strong i should not be putting myself on the internet right now but i just made a matcha got on my my old merch sweatshirt let me know if you guys think i should bring this design back at some point i hope you guys enjoyed this video anything i talk about in vlogs or any of my videos is always linked down below in the description box but i love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye of course that sound goes off right when i finish talking